Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going to be showing you how to build the Coke oven. And uh, these steel fences that I'm placing down are not necessary. You can put it right on the ground, but we're going to put it up in the air. So what I like to do is put a chest here and a hopper here before we get started, and that allows us to pull items out of the bottom of the Coke oven. So next, we just want to fill it in like that. Do another layer of 3x3 and one more on top of that. Then you're going to need your immersive engineering hammer. Just click it in the center here or whatever side you want this little thing to pop up on. Now on the inside we have our inputs and outputs, which our outputs is this slot and this slot here. And we can throw coal in and that's going to start melting down into coal coke and also produce creosote. So you can input items from the top or the side and uh, we can use glass bottles for the creosote buckets or the jerry can. You saw automatically it put the bucket in this slot. It'll do the same thing up here if we, you know, grabbed our coal. We could put it in either one of these hoppers. And uh, when there's room, it'll automatically put that in also. So I did a little bit of research for you guys. And uh, obviously this is going to pull the items out of here once the bucket's filled with a thousand uh, creosote and also the coal coke. So keeps your machine running. But... Right over here, we uh, put a log in. Log gives you charcoal, and it gives you 500 creosote, or actually 250. I actually put two pieces of coal in there. So 250 for a log. Coal gives you your coal coke instead of charcoal, and that gives you 500 per coal. And then finally, we come over here, and if we put a block of coal in here, it gives us 5,000. So if you do the math, uh, if you put a block of coal inside your coke oven, it's going to give you 500 extra creosote per per block. So nine nine is nine times uh, 500 is 4500. So yeah, that's it for this one. If you found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe.